Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the innovation of Chinese self-developed core chip. Since Huawei High Silicon was sanctioned by the United States, the outside world has focused on Unisoc. This company is currently the only domestic manufacturer that can supply general-purpose mobile phone SoC chips, competing with Qualcomm and MediaTek. Both Qualcomm and MediaTek have released their high-end flagship products, and Unisoc has also officially announced that it has brought a brand new T820 chip. What kind of chip processor is this? Can Unisoc become the second Huawei? Unisoc releases 6 nanometers 5G T820 chip. Under market rules, the structure of the chip industry has changed drastically, and the shipments and market shares of major mobile phone chip manufacturers have undergone rounds of reshuffles. Originally, Qualcomm was expected to take over the vacant market share and become the world's largest system-level chip manufacturer. Unexpectedly, MediaTek came from behind and surpassed Qualcomm to secure the world's number one throne. Moreover, MediaTek has released a number of flagship chip products in a row, challenging Qualcomm's flagship chip camp. After MediaTek, brought the Dimensity 9200, Qualcomm also released the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. Both chips use TSMC's 4 nanometers upgraded technology and are currently the highest level flagship chips on the market. However, there is still a big player in the flagship chip camp, and he is Unisoc. In the first half of this year, UNI SOC's domestic smartphone SOC shipments were 3 million, a year-on-year -year increase of 38%, making it the brand with the largest year-on-year -year positive growth. This shows that UNI SOC's market influence continues to increase, but if it wants to gain a firm foothold in the market, it must have products to sit in the market. On November 29th, Unisoc officially announced that it released a new T820 chip product. According to UNISOC's introduction, the T820 is a system-level secure high-performance 5G SoC, which adopts TSMC's 6 nanometers EUV process technology and adopts an octa-core CPU architecture design. Compared with UNISOC's first-generation 5G mobile platform, the power consumption of the T820 is reduced by 40% in some scenarios. In addition, the T820 chip also focuses on security performance. The chip uses a trusted execution environment plus an independent hardware encryption and decryption engine which can realize a complete security solution. Moreover, it is embedded in the SoC chip in an integrated manner, which is more reliable and secure than external security solutions. On the whole, as a 6 nanometers chip, T820 has reached the upstream level of the same level. For some mobile phone manufacturers pursuing high performance and high cost performance, it will be a good choice for the flagship camp. Of course, which mobile phone manufacturers will eventually adopt it still needs to wait for the official announcement. At least it is certain that Unisoc will continue to make efforts in chip design and improve the research and development level of 5G SoC. Some people may only pay attention to Qualcomm, and MediaTek has released their own 4 nanometers flagship processors, but they don't have a deep feeling for the release of 6 nanometers by domestic manufacturers. But you must know that after high silicon suffered market changes, 
Unisoc became the only general mobile phone chip supplier in China. Most of the global market share is in the hands of leading players. It is actually worth encouraging to have a mainland Chinese company to keep moving forward. 6 nanometers is not the end. I believe that with the deepening of technology research and development, there will be more product breakthroughs in the future. Can Unisoc become the second Huawei? Huawei has continued chip research and development for decades, and created high silicon semiconductors to create a series of chips such as Kirin, Kuanping, and Honghu to meet the chip needs of major businesses. With Huawei's annual R&D investment of 100 billion yuan, it has a very deep control over the core technology of self-developed chips. It's just that everyone knows the situation of high silicon now, and the research and development direction has become optical computing chips, chip stacking, superconducting quantum chips, and so on. It can be clearly seen that Huawei has prepared for the future through diversified research. As for when the main Kirin chip can be reborn from the cocoon, it will take time to give an answer. Before that, Unisoc had high hopes. With the continuous increase in chip shipments and the release of multiple chips, can Unisoc become the second Huawei? It can only be said that anything is possible. Although UNISOC's market share in mobile phone chips needs to be improved, UNISOC's real trump card is the layout of comprehensive chip services. What many people may not know is that Unisoc is the largest comprehensive chip manufacturer in China and its chips are basically used in the fields of ID cards, bank cards, SIM cards, and other livelihood services. In addition, Unisoc has won 70% of the domestic LTE Cat.1 chip market share. What many people tend to overlook is that Unisoc is also a chip supplier for many brand giants. For example, Motorola, Hisense, Tranchon, Honor, and the three major operators are all customers of Unisoc. With the support of Unisoc chip products, they promote product releases and condense creativity. As for the smartphone industry, which is more concerned by the outside world, Unisoc is also accelerating its progress. Because Unisoc has its own baseband IP, it has the ability to lay out the 5G SOC chip market. T820 may open the door to a new 5G chip market for Unisoc and shine brilliantly. The outside world expects Unisoc to become the second Huawei continue to make progress in the field of domestic chips and bring more products. However, chip research requires time to accumulate and accumulate, and it also requires a robust R&D investment guarantee. Unisoc is already working hard to move forward, you might as well give Unisoc more time, I believe it will bring surprises. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share. Thank you for watching.